Hello guys, this is Dabs Nishmail. In this tutorial, we are going to take a look at how to create cool effects using rollover layers as well as layers in WYSIWYG Web Builder. So as you can see, if I hover over this, it gives me some kind of cool effects. So let's come to WYSIWYG Web Builder and see how best we can go about this. So this are my objects. I'll just take you through a couple of the options. So behind it is a layer and then I have my alignments. I have my relative horizontal size and a relative horizontal position. I don't really need this. Um, this is an optional um, choice if you want to go by this. And then I have my background that is set to an image. I made sure I had um, an overlay, which is I use a black um, solid color here with some kind of uh, alpha value here. So I had an alpha value of 200 and then I had a background image also. Now this is my rollover layer. I have an animation of zoom then it's uh, had a layout to fool with and then i made sure i had a position chart to absolute i had my maximum width to about 800 and then my, the duration of my animation is 200. the default had a transparent background and then the hoover also had an image here which is an image only so let's see how to do this in a new page and with we grab the other so i'm going to go to a new page i'll start by coming to a, the toolbox and then i'm going to locate my layer too so I'm going to click on the layer and then I'm going to draw in here. So let me just expand the size of this a bit. I think the size is okay. And then I'm going to double click on this. First of all, I'm going to change the alignment to center. And then I'm going to come to style. Under style, I'm going to change the mode to image. And then I'm going to select the image I'll be using. So I'm going to select this image. I'll make sure I, I don't repeat this. I'll keep the horizontal to center and then a vertical to center as well and then the size is going to be cover now i want to have some kind of um darker image with this so i'm going to make sure i change um, i come here select solid and then i'm going to select black and then i come and change the alpha value to let's say 200 here um 200 is going to be okay and then i'll come back here and then change this to image and make sure i change my um, mode here to image plus overlay so when i click on ok this gives me some kind of darker image now next is to change this to floating that is the position chart so i'm going to change this from absolute to floating and then i'll go ahead and hit on ok now I'll come to my toolbox and then i'm going to click on my rollover layer so i'll draw in here first of all let me get the size of my um, layer here which is 301 by 248 pixels now i'm going to get the size and then use the same size for my rollover layer here and then i'm going to change the height a bit i'm not going to use the same height because i want to um, get a situation or be able to double click on my layer and then make changes to it so i'll keep the size i think this is fine i'll leave that here and then i'll double click on it first of all i'm going to change the position child to absolute the alignment is going to be center and then my animation is going to be zoom and then I'll change the duration to about 200. Now I'll continue to the default section. Under the default, I'm going to change the mode to transparent. And then on hover, I'm going to select an image I'll be using here. So let me just go ahead and select the save image, which is going to give me some kind of cool effects when I hover over it. On When I don't hover, I have the darker image showing. When I hover, I have the actual image showing. I'm going to keep the size to cover. Vertical is going to be center. And then horizontal is also going to be center. I'll make sure I change this to do not repeat. Let me go ahead and hit an OK. And then as you can see, this is having a transparent background. So let me come to toolbox and then position some object in it. So I'll come to the text and then I'll draw in here. Let me just double click on this and then change this to about 10 words. And then let me move that into my layer here. So let me just expand this a bit. Now I'll continue to the next um, slide or the next page of my rollover layer and then i'm going to position something different in there so i'll come and then maybe select the shape to i'll draw in here i'll click on it and maybe have some text in it which is going to be view more and then let me let me change the color of my text to white and then change the size of it to about 12 pixels and then uh, let me just change the background color to black so i can see it here and then I'll go ahead and hit on OK. Let me come to the first slide and then copy the test. And then I'll come back to the second one, paste the test here. Let me move this and then the button into my layer 
um, that is rolled over layer here. I'll change this color of it to white. Then I'll come here and change the color of this to white also so that it stays visible when I position it in my layer here. I'm going to move this into my layer and then let me go ahead and preview this. So this is it. As you can see, I have a darker background. When I hover over it, I have this kind of cool effect. When I take my cursor off, I have a darker background. Let me come back and then minimize this and then maybe increase the height of this a bit. And then I go to the next one. Double click on this. Make sure I change it from image to CSS. So that it gives me some kind of um, sharper um, preview. So let me preview this again. And when I hover it over here, you realize I have a sharper um, button here as compared to this one which gave me some kind of blur effect so that is how to go about it thank you very much for watching bye for now